I don't want to be lost in the crowd. I want to find Paradise Lost by going where tourists seldom dare to tread. Welcome to the Laughing Planet! Getting ready to head to Perstagi. We're going to be taking a three-day trek. We're smashed into a tiny little two-stroke tuk-tuk here. Three hours of local transport before our trek. Oh, yeah. This is the only way to fly. Yeah. Top of the bus. This may be the last time we ever see our backpacks. Bye, backpack. Hope to see you again. Our packs will ride a bus, and we're trekking through the rainforest. And I think carrying one backpack is hard. So we have here the harvesting of the nut of the palm. So this is what they do when they make palm oil. They take these off the top of all the trees that you see around, and then they press these nuts and get the oil out. If he's lucky, I think he makes maybe five dollars a day. Palm oil is used for biodiesel, often leading to deforestation when companies slash huge swaths of the rainforest to make palm oil plantations. Who'd have thunk that palm oil and busting nuts would actually lead to an unhappy ending? Aw, oh, poor guy. Is this your monkey? He looks angry about being on such a short leash. He must be married. <laughs> it's hard to get over the brutal animal treatment. But what about the brutal treatment of Indonesians by their government? Did you know that former president slash dictator Suharto stole $35 billion while in office? Women like this work their asses off for pennies a day, and they do it with a smile. Oh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Indonesia releases more carbon dioxide into the atmosphere from the burning of forests than any country on Earth. And it turns out most of the wood burning is happening right here in this kitchen. As they prepare dinner, I'm thinking, I like smoked foods, it adds flavor. But no thank you when it comes to secondhand smoked foods. <laughs> we have a beautiful meal here prepared for our trek. We have tempeh, vegetable curry, another vegetable dish, rice. Everything is just wonderful. And in Indonesia, yeah. we say, <laughs> Salamat Makao. <Yeah. laughs> We're on our way to the Gunung Loiser National Park, the largest national park in Southeast Asia. I really enjoy this trail. It's a good thing we got a machete. I think I got my first leech of the day. It's a little known fact that all oh, yeah. leeches are hermaphrodites. Oh, this one I nicknamed Jamie Leech Curtis. Come on, none of that. I'm naming this one Suharto, the biggest leech of all. My shoes are the most leech-friendly shoes I've ever seen for jungle trekking. So this is some kind of a porcupine plant, I guess. We got a little spiky thing here. It's unlikely we'll see any wild animals because locals have eaten them or chopped down their habitat. Still, I'm deep in the Sumatran rainforest, so you never know. Hey, hey look at that! This is a Thomas Langer, also called a Thomas Leaf Monkey. These guys are amazing climbers. But hey, look, did you see that jump? This is great. Here you see its black coat, its chest full of white fur, and its distinctive black mohawk. The black hair is important because it's common knowledge that white monkeys can't jump. Great way to travel, that's gotta be. It's a shame we humans have over evolved so we can no longer fly through the treetops. We gotta hack our way through the jungle. Or for you creationists, God punished us for eating the apple by taking away our long distance tree jumping ability. And for those of you who aren't entomology buffs, if you want to know what this is, look it up on Wikicentipedia. They bring us pineapple served on a beautiful little tray like this. These guys are amazing. We're in the jungle of the Gunung Loisor National Park with Ali and Diam. They are our guides and they are the Riki brothers. 
Don't Ricky Martin. What is the name of this fruit? This fruit, kapong. Kapong. All in Bahasa is kapong. Yeah. Jungle tracking food, living mm. off the land. Yeah, yeah. You cannot be more in the jungle than this. When you see the rainforest being destroyed like this, you can't help but feel some empathy for the people who are doing it. I don't blame them. It's not that they don't have respect for the jungle. They just need to earn a living. One way to support these people is to buy shade-grown coffee, which is grown in areas that are not clear-cut rainforests. I can honestly say in many years of trekking, this was one of the hardest treks I've ever done. Dense jungle, steep trails, but beautiful. We just passed a coffee plantation and now I'm entering the village where the workers live. As I arrived, I saw many women working and apparently the men were on a coffee break. So I asked my guide, Ali, about it. I want to know about the men in this village. What do they like to do? So like the men in this village, nothing to do, something like uh, just women work, working in the coffee planters and, and rice beer. Okay, so yeah. the men have nothing to do because to do the here. women do everything. Yes. All right. So, so like the men just sitting in the coffee shop, like uh, drinking of coffee and smoking, yeah, playing chess smoking, and talking. Drinking, yeah. Yes, talking. So if the man wanted to work, would the women like that? Would yeah, that make of course, them happy? he can do that. Of yeah. course. Okay, I'm just wondering. Yeah. Okay, interesting. The women do all the work? Sumatra, here I come! As I trek through the jungle, I'm amazed by how the insects and plants make their own symphony. It's overwhelming, and I propose to you that when a tree falls in the rainforest, there is a sound. And I'm not talking chainsaws. I invite you to listen in and enjoy. Rain? Nobody told me it rains in the rainforest. After trudging 50 miles over three days, we finally arrive in the valley of the village of Burstagi. It's sunny and it's raining and there's a volcano behind me. Sumatra is full of surprises. Just wait till we get to the top and look inside. <laughs> Just outside of Burstagi, I indulge in some snacks sold by a local street vendor and try to talk to her in her national language. Of course, she struggles to understand. I'm try trying some of these local treats. This is really nice. Little uh, rice cakes or tapioca or something, but it sure tastes good. Good stuff. Very enak. Song got enak. My poor Indonesian speaking made her giggle. Another satisfied Laughing Planet customer. After the long hard trek, I was reunited with my backpack. I thanked Ali and DR, and now all I want is a good night's sleep. Let's hope the first of the five prayers a day Islam requires doesn't come too early. What the fatwa? It's 4.30 in the morning! <laughs>